Hey friends, I hope I got some glasses. I just finished a workout in a dress because I was too hot to wear leggings. But um, I just wanted to take a quick moment to answer some questions that you guys submitted to me via Instagram. I just went ahead and picked three questions and I'll ask or answer some other questions that I get randomly a lot. Um, but I hope this kind of stuff is interesting for you guys. If you want me to keep doing that, um, these kind of videos, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know you like it, that I keep creating this kind of content. And if you guys don't already know me, my name is Zia. I am the creator of Don't Love. And I just love to eat, laugh, and look. And hug darling. <laughs> Alright guys, so first question. I think probably uh, a right for the time sort of question is um, how am I dealing with um, social distancing? And this is from Shredded Gingy. Hey, Shredded Gingy. Uh, social distancing, distancing, as you guys know, probably I um, work uh, in a tech company. And so actually my job is fairly remote. So from a job perspective, it actually hasn't changed so much for me. I mean, um, it's sort of a blessing it is a blessing in my opinion that I have that sort of stability to have a job through through the coronavirus right um, my husband also works in tech but he usually goes up to the city in San Francisco to work um, so he's actually been working from home but other than that I'm a homebody <laughs> besides going to the gym uh, I tend to stay home or go to the grocery store I, but the other big difference for me actually is I don't cook for dot wall right now because um, we use a shared commercial kitchen and while I can practice my own safety protocols, I can't um, require the other renters to do the same thing, right? So I'm just trying to do kind of what's the smartest and what's the safest. And so for that, that for me is a bummer, but other than that, I mean, it's, I can't feel anything but be feel grateful that I'm healthy, um, that everybody that I love is healthy, that people are staying safe. I feel bad for the people that don't have that ability um, and trying to figure out like how to play my part in helping them out. I guess that's the hardest thing for me, but y you know what's weird? Here's what's weird is, you know, back in the day you just go, oh, you wanna, you wanna buy some cashew milk? Okay, let's just hop to the store real quick and go. But now it's like, okay, are we out of everything? Are you sure we're out of everything? Are you ready for this mission? Okay, let's go. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. No. And then you have to like spray everything down and da, da, da. thank you. I know I'm salty. I just sweated from working out. Um, you know, so that's the biggest thing um, because the conveniences that we had in the past are no longer here for now. Um, but again, it's, it's given the circumstances and given the position I'm in, I feel grateful, I guess is, I guess is what I'm trying to say. The question from Sweet Own. Hi, Tracy. Uh, her question is, what's your current hobby? So, Tracy, I think you know. Uh, I love going to the gym. I love eating. I love hugging Darla. <laughs> that hasn't changed so, so much, except that I can't go to the gym. I don't go to the grocery store as much as I normally do, but I still work out at home with whatever equipment that I have. Um, and I'm still, even though I'm not baking for Do It Well, I'm still doing a lot of testing. Um, and just, I think, you know, I'm a, I'm a busy body, so I'm constantly like doing things. Um, oh, I've been trying to get more sleep, but <laughs> as much as I'd like sleep to be hobby, my body doesn't like to sleep very much. I, I don't know. I go, can you talk to my body for me, please, Tracy? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, the other question I got is, um, from Adrian19737, is there a country I want to see? I so badly want to see Africa. I need to go there. I need to sleep in the safari. I need to see the lions and the giraffe and their wild gloriness. I need to laugh with the hyenas. I need to just, I love animals and I love hot. So I really want to go to Africa. I've been um, fortunate enough to travel to a bunch of different places. So I've been obviously to America because I live here couple of places in Canada, uh, mostly for work, so I didn't get to explore so, so much, um, but still been there, which is nice. Um, Australia um, for like a week, the Philippines, I was born there. Indonesia, Bali for a little bit. Um, so I've been 
fortunate enough to travel to those places, but I still haven't been to Africa. Oh, and I've been to London and Spain, um, but I want to go to Africa. That's that's where I want to go next. Yeah, um, yeah, Africa. <laughs> As for other questions that I'm getting, guys, I still get questions about um, what am I doing with Do It Well? Um, I think that's a big question that I get a lot. Um, so Do It Well right now is just a at a pause for COVID-19. It's just, it's just the safe thing to do, you know? Um, as much as a business, as a small business, yeah, I still have my small business fees, but it's nothing that I can't handle. Um, and I'm not trying to brag, but it's nothing that I can't handle from my you know, to, to make sure that it continues to live until we can reopen up again. Um, but it's just an opportunity for me to expand different ways or test different things and all that stuff. So Do It Well is going to go live back up again when it feels safe to do so. <laughs> um, but I know a lot of people have been waiting for Do It Well <laughs> orders, pinging me, letting me know, hey, Kia, can you bring it back up already, please? I'm sorry, it's not safe. <laughs> um, other questions I get is, um, what am I doing about my eating? You know, so I go through all, I, I'm the kind of person that, unless I have like a competition, a bodybuilding show to prep for, I'm going down the strict path based on what my coach kind of gives me, right? But on my own, I always try different things. I'm one of those people, right? So. There was a period where I couldn't stop thinking about food constantly. So what I did is I, I did the opposite and I couldn't stop thinking about food. So what I did is I did the opposite of what maybe some people would do, which is I think some people would just try to force themselves to stop thinking about food, like mentally just say, okay, you're wrong for thinking about food. But really what I did was I um, stopped tracking macros and I ate whatever the heck I wanted. Um, to just satisfy all those cravings that I had or those like, I need food, <laughs> you know? Um, and so yes, I've gained weight and I knew that that was gonna be part of the process and I'm totally fine with that. Um, I don't know th actually, there's been times of ups and downs, like ups of like, yeah, I feel fine with it. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm a little too um, fluffy than I wanted to be. Um, fluff is not a bad thing, by the way. Okay, let's get that through. Um, but yeah, generally I just, I, I still love everything about my physique, my, myself. And I think that's everything, every, something that everybody should practice, but, um, or try to practice as even as hard as it can be sometimes just being real. Right. Um, so I went through that and I probably did that for about two or three months. I think I gained, the problem is I don't even really weigh myself. But as of a couple of days ago, oh, as of this morning, I was 149.2 pounds, which I'm 5'4". I'm a woman. So that's considered uh, on the heavier scale for a woman, I guess. I don't really know. But it's not considering my muscle mass. I'm still very strong. So I still have a lot of muscle. Uh, so just whatever. Um, but so now my cravings are actually in the constant I thinking of food is actually gone it's like something i'm not obsessing over obsessing that's the word it's not something that i'm obsessing over anymore which is great so i'm actually back to tracking my macros now so i can get myself back into that healthy place and i think that actually let me track that i am healthy right now even at my weight i'm healthy at 149.2 pounds i'm healthy I actually just got blood work done just to make sure all my cholesterols and all that stuff and sugars are all good. I'm all good. In fact, my good cholesterol is um, very, very good uh, because I eat a lot of nuts and seeds and cashews and nuts and nuts. <laughs> I love nuts, cashews, peanuts, Virginia, Virginia Diner peanuts. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing with, with food. So now I'm back to tracking my macros, but it's not like I'm not in a major deficit. Uh, because I'm getting a lot less movement than I was like, let's say when we were going to the gym or a lot less like heavy lifting my macros right now, my, I'm not going to tell you my macros, but my calories, uh, are hovering around 21, 2200. So, um, that's where I am right now with that. But yeah. 
Okay, guys, I think that's it. I just wanted to say hi, answer some questions that you guys have posted to me, share my life a little bit more. Let you say hi to Darla or let her Darla have her 10 minutes of fame. Hello, everybody. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. Tell my mom and stop holding me like this. And if you want to see more content from her movie, hit the subscribe button. There's a notification bell right next to it. Ding, 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 ding. Every time the baby girl posts a video. All right, guys. See ya.